Boy, don't you ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, ever chase happiness on falling on grade, cuz. Let me tell you why, cuz. Cuz so many people, man, they getting caught up in the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit of pleasure, chasing an easy life, expecting everything to be positive, which is unbalanced for one, you feel me? Chasing happiness, it'll get you down. Those chasing happiness are the saddest people. Cause, cause you just gotta think about it. That what you chase is that which you are least acknowledging in your life. Like the super religious people always chasing God in church all throughout the week, trying to find God, searching and looking for God. The ones that's looking the hardest are the ones that's denying his presence already in their life, bro. That's why I be saying the most religious people are actually some of the least spiritual people out there, bro. So then people are like, oh, okay, then. So what should I be going after then? What's what's the point of life then? Well, first off, you was never, never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 ever promised lifetime happiness in the first place. And anyone trying to feed you that philosophy is feeding you bull crap. They doing more harm than good. It, like, if you really think about it, they doing more harm than good to you. They pushing a fantasy on you that's unattainable. You got to remember that this is a journey. This life, this thing we call life is a journey. There's ups, downs, left, right, twists, turns, and, and there's never really a final destination. I never, I never seen anybody reach that point. It's a journey and life goes on and on and on. So like I'm saying, when you reach a goal that you wanted for so long, you celebrate and you all joyful and it's all good. Yay, hooray, yippee, face up. No, but for real though. And then everything settles and you get a little unsatisfied again. That hunger begins to grow again. And that's because your inner being knows you have the potential to expand, to grow even more and be even more. We are here to grow and expand like everything else in life. So that's the problem we got with all these normal mortals nowadays, you feel me? They think that there's a final goal. They think that there's a finish line. They think that there's an end game that contains their eternal happiness, you feel me? They think that they, if they can get this one thing, if they can have this one thing, then they will forever have peace and bliss. bliss. Peace and bliss. Man, I'm tweaking around here. Yeah, peace and bliss, basically. They think they're going to just have that. If I can have this one thing, I'm going to forever be blissful. I'm going to forever be peaceful. Everything is just going to be fine from that point on. No more downs from that point on. Like, that's a fantasy, bro. Go find someone going through the most stuff, going through the hardest struggles, and you'll see that they still have moments of happiness and pleasure. They they still going to have good times here and there, you feel me? Likewise, you can go find billionaires and see that they still take losses, that they still have stress and they still have worries, that they still got fears, that they still got setbacks. That they got challenges, that they feel pain, they still feel pain too. No matter what level you make it to, there's there's pleasures and pains, there's different supports and challenges, bro. I've already told y'all there's a conservation of, of pleasure and pain. I've said that before. All of these things must be in balance. You cannot have total pleasure and absolutely no pain. You're going to throw off the, the balance to the entire universe if that was the case. No matter No matter what level I was in, fam, I had challenges, bro. When I was broke, I had challenges and struggles. When I got money, and I ain't talking no little money. I'm talking money, bro. Y'all already know how I get down. Straight hundreds, 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 hundreds. Thousands on thousands on thousands on thousands. You feel me? Even when I start getting good amounts of money, I still had challenges and struggles. They didn't go away. Ch the ch challenges and struggles didn't go away. They just evolved with me. They just they just changed form, bro. That's all they did. They just evolved, bro. Just like I evolved, bro. But they, I still got challenges and struggles, bro. What y'all got to realize is happiness is a fleeting emotion, bro. It's a fleet, a fleeting po polarized emotion. Like I talk about the two polar, the two polar angle, the two polar sides, positive and negative. That's being polarized. They opposite ends. You feel me? But it's the same thing. On some real stuff. Happiness is a fleeting polarized emotion. And I've been telling y'all to just stick to neutrality and gratitude. No matter what the situation is. And that's how you become a true master. So now I'm going to tell y'all the secret to happiness. Is you ready? Is you ready to hear the secret to happiness? Hit, hit that like button real quick and I got you, bro. Hit that like button and I'm going to tell y'all the secret to happiness. All right, here's the secret to happiness. 
Align your expectations with the fact that life is a journey. You cannot escape fears, pains, hurdles. You cannot escape obstacles. You cannot escape challenges. You cannot escape setbacks. That's a fantasy. And it doesn't exist. So fix your expectations, man. I'm out.